Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Max Shoots Film. Holy crap, it's been, it's been a minute since I've seen you guys. How have you been? Are you surviving? Do you take care of yourself? Hopefully you're staying healthy. I know there's a lot of craziness going on in the world and I sincerely hope everyone who's watching is okay, all their loved ones are safe, and for any of you that have experienced any losses, my deepest condolences. So this week's episode, I took a trip to Vegas. My girlfriend and I decided that it was time to get away from the Phoenix area and we took a road trip to Las Vegas. Now on this road trip, I had my M6, 35 Sumacron ASPH, that's the version one. And of course I took a bevy of film and by bevy I mean 11 billion rolls. I always take four times as many rolls as I need. But that's cool, right? It doesn't cost me anything. We were driving. So it's it relatively easy to carry all that film. This trip, I tend to focus more on Kodak products, specifically Kodak Portra 400. I'm more, here recently, I'm a Lomo guy, right? I've been shooting a ton of Lomo 400 for street and a ton of Lomo 800 for portraits. The price of Lomo's gone up, gone up now where it's not really more advantageous to buy Lomo. So purchase by purchase, I'm making a decision on which one I should buy. Uh, and I had a couple rolls of this guy, Cinesteel 800T, a tungsten balanced cinema film with the rim jet layer removed. It's a bunch of technical gobbledygook. All it is is motion, motion picture film. It has a layer removed so you can put it in your camera and use it and get it developed by a standard lab. Specifically, this film is tungsten balanced. So if you shoot it in daylight, you're going to have weird colors. And Vegas just seemed like a really great opportunity to break this film out, slap it in the camera, and see what this M6 paired with the 35 is spherical Sumacron lens could produce. So I was just curious, you know, F2, could I shoot wide open enough to gather enough light, even at 800 ISO, uh, it's Vegas, there's a ton of light. It's so bright out there. I had no problem making exposures. Um, and then of course the portrait looks great, but you know what? We're talking a lot before we're looking. Let's do this. Let's just go check out the video. Come back here. Let's talk about uh, this kit so far, the, these film stocks, which everyone knows a lot about. And uh, what's next for the channel? Okay guys, I'll see you after the video.
So what'd you guys think? I'll tell you what, this M6 is finding itself onto my shoulder on every outing. This is the first time since I've been a photographer, 2013, that I've actually carried a camera almost every day. It's, it's really weird for me. And over these years, I have bought numerous cameras, justified the extravagant purchase of said camera, just because I was like, it's gonna be my travel camera. Yeah, I'm gonna take this with me every day. The Leica M6, never said that about that, but it's just, I'm compelled to grab it. I'm on the way out to hang out with friends, and I'm not gonna walk to the bars. I'll just grab my M6. I'll use the Peak Design strap. I'll usually wear it cross body, and it's just so small and discreet, and this lens is just so low profile and so high quality. It has that crazy micro contrast, super small lens. It's an F2, so it's fast enough for most stuff that I'm doing. It's becoming, it's becoming more than I thought it was gonna be. I just thought it was gonna be this cool uh, forever camera, but it's turning into just like a, uh, it fits perfectly in my life. Um, I just hate it has the word Leica on it because that's so divisive because there's a lot of people who really hate their lives and themselves and anyone who has anything that makes them happy, you know, they're gonna jump on it. So the troll train absolutely has jumped on me. I get it. I was probably a troll about that stuff. All right, M6 out of the way. Portrait 400, what can you be said about that? It's an amazing film stock. Since I've moved back to Scottsdale though, I've uh, been sending all my film to the Fine Lab, so everything you've seen has been developed by the Fine Lab. Uh, that's adding up quickly. I can't wait to go back to North Carolina in the middle of this month and grab all my junk to save some cash because Lord have mercy, developing film is crazy expensive. But the Fine Lab, they just, they crush it every time. No matter what I send them, those guys are amazing over there. Definitely check them out. Cinesteel 800T. Okay, these are $11 billion per roll and they're never in stock. I had two rolls from like 2001, just kidding. Uh, from a while ago, I had these and I knew I was going to Vegas and what a better time to shoot something like this film than Vegas. It did not disappoint. I really love the results from the Fine Lab. I've attempted to develop this before with subpar results. Fine Lab, they just absolutely crushed it. I love that film. It's a little grainy in the shadows and the dark, but guess what, guys? It's dark outside. It's a shot at night and it's film. Gonna be grainy, not too bad. I think the crushed blacks in those images kind of add some character to it. It is film. So, where do we go from here? Been on the road quite a bit. Next couple of videos, I went to Watson Lake, which is this really rad uh, man-made lake from where they dammed a river. It has all these rock formations in the middle. And then I went up to Page, Arizona to Horseshoe Bend and uh, some other dam up there. And I literally just got back this morning from Tucson, Arizona. My girlfriend and I went down there for a quick getaway and I shot some Pentax 6-7. Lots of film photos being made, guys. I've consolidated my accounts. Check out Matt Schutz Film. It's now rated PG, so you can feel free to follow that feed and not be worried when you open your phone in public if Mac has posted an image that's gonna embarrass you. That's not the case anymore. I'm trying to consolidate the number of feeds. Matt Schutz Film's just gonna be all of it, guys. It's gonna be my glamour, boudoir, shooting trash on the ground. It's all gonna be in one place. It's just gonna make it much easier. Hopefully, you will follow me over there. Also, I've completely blanked my website, Mac Shoots Film, started reloading uh, sessions up there, as not just portrait sessions, but any photo session, walking around, I'm gonna start posting them there. So if you wanna see full sessions, full size images, go to Mac Shoots Film. Okay, that's a bunch of talking. I don't like to talk. I need to shoot some film. I need to take some ibuprofen. I drank a lot yesterday, to be honest, so. I'm gonna go veg out on the couch, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna see more of this content, just subscribe down below. All that good stuff, guys. All right, it's great seeing you again. It's been a minute. Hopefully it's not as long before the next time we meet. All right, guys, take care of yourself.